So on the one year anniversary of the tragic crash that took the life of Kevin Ward Jr., the Ward family has taken legal action against NASCAR driver Tony Stewart. Took them long enough, you know. So what they did was file a wrongful death lawsuit against Tony. And what I'm wondering is, can Tony file a counter your fucking retarded lawsuit against the Ward family? No, seriously. Let's listen to this. Kevin Ward would be alive today if not for the reckless and dangerous actions of Tony Stewart. No, actually. Kevin Ward Jr. would be alive today if he hadn't been high out of his mind walking on an active racetrack in the middle of the night. Into oncoming cars. If he hadn't done that, he would still be alive. Our son was truly the light of our lives, and we miss him terribly every day. The Ward family said in a statement. Our hope is that this lawsuit will hold Tony Stewart responsible for killing our son and show him there are real consequences when someone recklessly takes another person's life. Yes, there is consequences when people die. This stupidity. Why are you doing this? Have you not forgotten, like, every single, like, case against that? You see, Tony Stewart is indeed responsible for killing Kevin Ward Jr., as his car was the one that struck Ward. But what people tend to forget is that if you actually watch the footage of the incident, you will see that two other vehicles come close to hitting Ward themselves. And Kevin Ward just keeps coming closer and closer to the inside of the racetrack, making it even more possible for someone to hit him. It was inevitable. It was inevitable. It would have happened. Kevin Ward would be alive today if not for the reckless and dangerous actions of Tony Stewart, who will eventually have to answer for what he did. Have you noticed how Tony Stewart's been performing like absolutely nothing as far as good driving or good finishes? He got three top ten finishes since that incident. Two of them were this year. I think he's paying for it in some way. And he's... <laughs> and he doesn't even deserve to! It's the kid's own fault! He's stupid! He was stupid! He was a stupid idiot to be driving while high and walk onto a... I've said this so many times and I keep repeating myself in this case there's someone who hasn't watched my videos yet in the past. Have you not noticed all these little details that kind of put Tony Stewart as far away from the wrong as possible. Am I the only one that sees this stuff? And you know what the worst part about this is? They wouldn't be doing this if it was anyone besides Tony Stewart that killed him. If it was just some random Joe driving a sprint car that day that hit him, this story would have gone under the radar and no one would care at all. And you want to know how I know this? Joan Feller, who as a result of injuries, in a race that he was, or she was in, had to go to the hospital and unfortunately died as a result. And no one cares about that because it wasn't a high profile person like Tony Stewart, who's famous and has money. Ooh, that's a detail right there, isn't it? You know what? I wonder why it took them so long to file this lawsuit. Could it be they were sizing up Stuart? Seeing exactly how much willpower he had to fight for this. And you know what the worst part about it is? Like I said, if this had been anyone else, they wouldn't be filing this lawsuit. What they want is Stuart's money. And because of the fucked up court system, they're probably going to get it. I think the Ward family is absolutely worthless for doing this. They are using the death of their son to earn money. That's what this is all about. They want Stewart's money. That's what this is about. Because they wouldn't be doing this if it was anyone else. There is so much evidence against it. There is so much evidence in Stewart's favor. It's obvious to anyone with 10 brain cells that Stewart is not in the wrong for what happened. 
and they're still filing this lawsuit because they want Stewart's money. And that is just worthless. They're using the death of their own son to try and pry Tony Stewart's money away from him. How can anyone defend these people? People call Tony Stewart disgusting things for what happened. They call him a murderer. They call him a scorpion. They call him a fat fucking loser. When we should be looking at the real criminals here. The Ward family who is trying to profit off the death of their own child. How does anyone else not see this? This is disgusting. He was a dumbass. You don't walk onto an active track in the middle of the night and not expect to get hit by a vehicle. Well, hi. It's his own stupid ass's fault that he's dead. Stewart is not in the wrong. And you trying to take money from him by using your own child as an excuse to try and gain money. They're using their dead son to try and get money. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done talking about this. I'm never bringing this up again. They're not even worth talking about. This is just disgusting. It's a display of the America that we live in today where people who lose their children have to resort to such brutal tactics. Stewart did nothing wrong. And he's probably going to lose all his money as a result. I just hope someone sees this video someday and realizes what I've realized. They don't deserve anything. They're trying to profit off their own kid's death. That's fucking deplorable. I'm done.